everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Primrose Beanie, which you can see here in front of you. Uh, if you are joining me for the Wonderful Hats Crochet Along, welcome. This is our first week, so this is the first hat of five that we are going to make for the Crochet Along. This is the Primrose Beanie. Uh, as you can see here, uh, it features a simple slip stitch uh, brim and then the body of the hat features a new favorite stitch of mine which is called the primrose stitch. I have attached a faux fur pom-pom here to the top but you of course can attach um, a yarn handmade one or you can even go without for this, uh, for this hat. Now for the project you are going to need about 200 yards of your favorite worsted weight yarn. I'm going to be using this Patton's Canadiana yarn. It's a worsted weight yarn, medium weight, and uh, you're going to need about 200 yards of it. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook, and then of course your pom-pom to attach to the end. Now, this pattern can be found for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. I'll provide the direct link for you in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me, and uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe and take a look at some of the other videos that you'll find here on my channel. There's plenty of hat patterns and as well stitch tutorials and other designs there as well. So let's uh, grab our yarn and our hooks and we'll learn how to crochet this primrose beanie together. Now just um, before I begin, I should have mentioned at the beginning, as far as the fit for this hat is concerned, uh, it is a snug fitting beanie for uh, an adult and uh, it does have a little bit of slouch to it as well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start by working the brim of our hat. This hat is worked from the bottom up and the brim of this hat is worked in rows. We're going to start by taking our slip knot, uh, taking our yarn and making a slip knot. And you're going to begin by chaining eight. Now I like to work a series of slip stitches for my brim, but if you would like, you can substitute these slip stitches for either single crochet or half double crochet. So what we're going to do is in our second chain from hook, our hook, we're going to work our first stitch. That's going to be for me a slip stitch, but again, you can either work a single crochet or a half double crochet. And then you're going to work your way all the way across. So I'm going to slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. At the end, you'll have a total of seven stitches. At the end of your row, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're then going to work in the back loop only. So to find your back loop, you're looking at the top of your stitches. You'll have this horizontal bar that's close to you and this one that's far away from you. Your back loop is the one that's far away from you. So you're going to work under that loop only and you're going to, in each stitch, slip stitch all the way across. So working in that back loop only, slip stitch in each stitch, all the way across, or single crochet or half double crochet, whatever stitch you choose to use for your brim. When you come to the end of the row, chain one and turn your work. You're now going to repeat that last row in the back loop only, slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. And this is going to give you that ribbing effect. Now for the rest of your brim, continue to work in the back loop only 
working your slip stitches across when you reach the end chain one and turn your work and you're going to continue to do this until the brim of your hat from the end so from this end here you're going to continue to work until it measures about 19 inches okay so chain one turn slip stitch and each stitch all the way across and continue this until it reaches 19 inches. At that point, meet me back here and uh, I will show you how to join those two ends together. Once you have slip stitched across, you're then going to want to turn your band right side out so that little seam is on the inside. And we're now going to start to work around the long edge here of our band to start the body of the hat. From here on end, the pattern is worked in rounds. So the first thing we're going to do for our round one, you're going to chain one, and we're now going to evenly work 93 half double crochet stitches all the way around. So it may help to place a stitch marker about halfway around and then you know you need half of the stitches on one side, half of the stitches on the other side, uh, whatever you need to do to make sure that these are spread evenly. And you're just going to work these stitches all the way around. So 93 half double crochet stitches. When you come around to the end, you're then going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and then you're ready to start round two. So go ahead, work 93 half double crochet stitches all the way around and then meet me back here. Once you have worked your 93 half double crochet stitches all the way around, you'll have a hat bottom that looks something like this. It might be a little less curly depending on if your band was slightly larger than mine or if you used uh, the single crochet or half double crochet stitches. Once uh, you have completed that round, you're ready to move on to round two. You've chain, uh, slip stitched into that first stitch and at this point we're not going to turn our work. For round two, we have our chain one and we're going to begin by into that first stitch, into the same stitch as joining, we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same stitch. Skip the next two stitches, one, two, into that next stitch, you're going to repeat that same um, pattern. Single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way around. So skip the next two stitches, one, two, into the next stitch, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. Skip the next two, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. Repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. At the end of your round two, you're going to have two stitches remaining. You're going to skip those stitches and then slip stitch into that first stitch. And that brings you to the end of your round two. For round three, you're going to slip stitch into that chain two space and chain one. Do not turn your work. Next, you're going to work three double crochet stitches into that same chain two space. So one double crochet, two, and three. Next, work three double crochet stitches into the next chain two space. So you're going to skip the two single crochet stitches there in between and just into the next chain two space 
work three double crochet stitches. You're going to then repeat that all the way around. Into the next chain two space, work three double crochet stitches. When you come around to your first stitch, your first three double crochet, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet stitch. When you come around to the first stitch in your round three, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. Do not turn your work and you're ready to start round four. For round four, you're going to slip stitch into that uh, next double crochet, so into the center double crochet of that set of three. Then chain one, and you're now going to work in similar fashion as you did for round two. So you're into that same stitch, you're going to single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. Skip the next two stitches, then into the center double crochet of that set of three, into the next stitch, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Skip two, single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the same stitch, skip two, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. Work that all the way around, skip the last two stitches, and join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. At the end of your round four, you're going to skip the next two stitches, which is the last stitch in the cluster of three double crochets you're working on, and the first stitch in the next, skip those two, and then join with a slip stitch into that first single crochet stitch. That brings you to the end of round four. Now what you're going to do for rounds five through to 14, so for the next 10 rounds, you're going to simply repeat rounds three and four. So that round three was the slip stitch into the chain two space, the chain one, and then three double crochet stitches into each chain two space all the way around. And then your round four, which is the single crochets and chain two spaces that we just worked. So repeat that uh, rounds three and four five more times. That will bring you to round 14. And uh, at the end of your round 14, come on back here and we will begin to work the decrease or the top of our hat together. At the end of your round 14, this is what your work is going to look like. Okay, so you have your brim down here, and then your primrose stitch uh, pattern up here. I'm going to join there with a slip stitch. Again, you're not going to turn your work, and you've ended with a single crochet and chain two space round. Now what we're gonna do for round 15, it's the first of our decrease rounds. And what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into that chain two space just as we did before. You're going to chain one and work three double crochet stitches just as you normally would following the primrose pattern. You're then going to work your three double crochet stitches um, three more times. So into the next three chain two spaces work three double crochet stitches. There's once, twice, and three times. So you have a total of 12 double crochet stitches. And then we want to decrease. To decrease in this round, we're going to work a cluster stitch 
into the next chain two space. To work your cluster stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain two space, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops. Do that two more times into the same space. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops. One more time, into the same space, yarn over, draw through two loops. You have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. That's your cluster stitch. You're then going to continue around working three double crochet stitches in each of the next four chain two spaces followed by a cluster stitch in the next chain two. So once again, work three double crochet stitches in each of the next four chain two spaces and then work one cluster stitch into the next and you're going to do that all the way around. I'll work one more set of three and show you that cluster stitch again. So I've worked my three sets of three double crochets and now my cluster. Yarn over into the next stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, or into the next chain two space, sorry. Yarn over, draw through two loops. Repeat that two more times into the same chain two space. Yarn over and draw through all four. So go ahead and repeat that three double crochets in each of the next four chain two spaces, followed by a cluster in the next chain two. Do that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So I've almost come all the way around here in round 15. I have one, I just worked a cluster stitch. I have one chain two space left. So I'm going to work three double crochets into that final chain two. and then join with a slip stitch into the top of my first double crochet stitch. And that brings you to the end of your round 15. For round 16, we're going to work it very much like our round four. So we're going to slip stitch into that center double crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. You're going to uh, then skip two stitches into the next center stitch, work your single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way around just like you did for round four with one little variation. So you're going to repeat that uh, here three more times and then you're going to come to your cluster stitch when you come to your cluster stitch, you are simply going to skip it. So you'll skip the single crochet, you will skip the cluster stitch, and you will skip the next double crochet. So then into that center one of the next set, you'll work your single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. And I'll pull back here just so you can see that. So you're just simply skipping that cluster stitch there in between. You're then going to continue around just as you did before. Skip two double crochets, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Do that four times, so there's once. Skip two. There's twice, and three times, sorry that was four times, <laughs> and then you're going to skip your cluster stitch, okay? 
then uh, repeat all the way around. When you come back to the first stitch, you're going to join with your slip stitch into the top stitch. At the end of your round 16, you're going to skip those final two stitches, join with the slip stitch into that single crochet. Do not turn your work and then slip stitch into the chain two space. We're now going to work our round of double crochet stitches. This time working three double crochets into each of uh, the next three chain two spaces and then working a cluster stitch into the next chain two. So chain one, work three double crochets into that first chain two space. Repeat that two more times, so you want a total of three sets of three double crochets, so into the next chain two, work three double crochets, one more time, and once you've worked three sets of three double crochets, you will work a cluster into the next chain two space. Repeat that all the way around. Three double crochets in each of the next three chain two spaces and cluster stitch into the next stitch. When you come around to the end, be sure to join with the slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet stitch. For your round 18, you're going to slip stitch into that center stitch and work it very much the same way as you've worked your round 17, uh, working your single crochet, chain two, single crochet, skip the next two stitches, uh, and you're going to do that in each of the first three sets of double crochets, and then you're always going to skip that cluster stitch. So for the first one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain two and single crochet, skip the next two stitches and repeat. Do that twice more, so single crochet, chain two and single crochet, skip two, single crochet, chain two and single crochet. When you come to that cluster stitch, skip the cluster stitch, so skip the double crochet skip the cluster, just pretend it's not even there, and skip the next double crochet, and then into the next stitch, start your single crochet, chain two, and single crochet again. So do that three times, and then skip the next cluster, and repeat. So do that all the way around, and then join with a slip stitch into that first single crochet stitch. So now by your round 19, you should see your hat curving inward there quite nicely. So this is what it looks like, just like that. So we're going to start our round 19 and uh, you're going to begin by slip stitching into the chain two space, chain one, and work your three double crochet stitches. Into the next chain two space, you're going to work three more. And now having worked two sets of double crochet, three double crochets, you're going to work your cluster stitch into that next chain two space. So this time we're going to be working three double crochets in each of the next two chain two spaces and then cluster stitch into the next stitch, into the next chain two space. 
Repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet. For round 20, you've joined with your slip stitch. You're going to slip stitch into the next double crochet. And then each, in each of these next two sets of three, you're going to work your single crochet, chain two single crochet, then skip your cluster stitch. So let's do that together. Chain one and our single crochet, chain two, single crochet, skip the next two stitches, then single crochet, chain two, single crochet, skip that cluster stitch, skip the next double crochet, and then into that center one, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. So repeat that all the way around, and then join with a slip stitch into the top of that first single crochet stitch. For our round 21, you're going to slip stitch into that chain two space. Chain one, work three double crochet stitches into that same space. And then work a cluster stitch into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around, three double crochets into the next chain two space, followed by a cluster stitch into the next, all the way around, and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round 22, slip stitch into that center stitch, and into the center double crochet of each set of three all the way around. Work your single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. Each time you're going to skip that cluster stitch in between. So really you'll be skipping the double crochet, skipping the cluster, stick, skip the next double crochet, and then single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. Repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, that single crochet. Join with the slip stitch. And you're ready to complete your final round. You're going to slip stitch for your round 23 into that chain two space, chain one, and you're now going to work a cluster stitch in each chain two space all the way around. When you come back to the first one there, you're then just going to join with a slip stitch into the top of the stitch. I'll just continue working mine around here. So clusters in each of the chain two spaces. left here. One more. And 
and then join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. You're then going to fasten off, leaving a long tail, and you're going to use the top of that tail to sew your hat closed. Now before you sew it closed, it might look a little misshapen here up at the top, but when I turned my hat inside out, sewed the top of my hat closed, and turned it right side out again, it all kind of came together there up at the top. You can then leave the beanie as is with no pom-pom if you would like or feel free to add one with yarn or a faux fur one as I have done in some of the photos that you will see on my blog. The free written pattern for this is on my blog once again. Uh, be sure to check it out and uh, thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.